Hello! In this video, I'm going to be sharing a book with you that is about tallying. In the last few days, I've shared some tallying games with you, and I shared a math challenge with you that involves tallying. So now I'm going to share this book and an additional math challenge that you can do afterwards. Alright, so this is called Tally O'Malley. There's Tally O'Malley by Stuart J. Murphy. Before the book even begins, there's some tallying going on here. Up at the top it says, Mom's Coffee, and it looks like she tallied 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 coffees, my goodness. Dad's Donuts, let's see, two groups of five, that makes 10. Two more groups of five, that makes 20, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Say cheese pictures, so I guess pictures where everyone was posing together, giving a big smile. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we see a few other things here. So the characters in our book, we have mom, dad, Shamrock the dog, Nell, Bridget the older sister, Eric the brother, and I think Nell is the smallest. So it's called Tally O'Malley. The O'Malley family were ready to go on vacation. Almost ready, that is. Did you pack the beach towels? asked Dad. Did you lock the back door? asked Mom. Come on, Shamrock, get in the car, said Eric pulling on the dog's leash. I can't find my sunglasses, said Nell. Bridget, everyone yelled. Hurry up or we're never going to leave. Finally, they were on their way. They had been on the road for almost three hours when Eric grumbled. Are we ever going to get there? Ugh! Shamrock's breathing all over my face, said Bridget. I can't find my baseball hat, said Nell. Why don't we play Italian games, said Mom. First, they had to decide on something to count. Let's do cars, said Eric. He loved tally games because he almost always won. Okay, Mom agreed. Everyone pick your colors. I'll take silver, said Eric. I take blue, said Bridget. How about you, Nell? Red, answered Nell. Red was her favorite color. Eric laughed. You always pick red and you never win, he said. I do see a red car in the background. Mom handed out papers and pen papers and pencils. Do you remember how to play now? asked Bridget. When you see a red car, you make a tally mark. Then make another one for each other red car you see. When you're up to three, it will look like this. When you get to five, you make a little bundle so that they're easy to count. This will be a 20 minute game, explained mom. So you can see Bridget helping her little sister with tallying here. Let's see. There's a silver one, said Eric immediately. And two more over here. I see a blue one, said Bridget, and another one right behind it. 
Ha! I see a red one, said Nell. Hey, Nell, there's another one, said Dad. No helping, said Eric. Let's see how many red cards we see on this page. I would give her one, two tallies. And then for silver cards, we have one, two, three tallies. We could also tally motorcycles. We'd have two, one, two tallies for motorcycles. Time's up, said Mom, just as they pulled into the rest stop for lunch. And here, let's see who won this tally game. Looks like Eric has one, two groups of five, so we know five, ten, plus two more is eleven, twelve. So he has twelve. Nell has one group of five plus one, so five plus one is six. And Bridget looks like she has two groups of five. We know that one's easy. Five plus five is ten. Dad took Shamrock for a walk while the rest of them counted up their tally marks. I win, shouted Eric. We knew that because we counted that he had the most. He had 12. You get to wear the tally medal, said Mom. The medal was really just a plastic Shamrock that Dad had given the dog on her first birthday. You think you're so great, said Bridget. Tally O'Malley. You can see Eric is very proud of himself for having won this round of tallying. The line for burgers was very long. I'm hungry, said Bridget. I want ice cream, said Nell. Can I play video games? Asked Eric. Let's play another tally game, said Dad. We can't count cars here, said Bridget. Let's do t-shirts instead. I call yellow, said Eric. Green, said Bridget. Red, called Nell. Eric laughed again. Red never wins, he said. The line moved forward inch by inch. They counted every single t-shirt they could see. Looking at this picture, who do you think is going to be able to tally the most t-shirts? Red, yellow, or green? It's almost our turn, said Dad. Game's over, add up your marks. I win, Bridget shouted. Let's look at the results. It looks like Eric tallied one, two, three, four yellow shirts. Nell, the little sister, tallied one, two red shirts. And Bridget, the big sister, she tallied, that's one, two groups of five, so she tallied 10 green shirts. Mom took the shamrock medal from Eric and placed it around Bridget's neck this time. You won't have the tally medal for long, said Eric. Oh yeah, tally O'Malley, said Bridget. Everyone was full of lunch. Bridget, Eric, Bridget, and Nell slept most of the rest of the way to the beach. Finally, they arrived. They had just gotten out of the car when they heard a train whistle in the distance. Woo woo! Let's count the train cars, said Eric. I pick black. I'll take gray, said Bridget. Do you want red again, Nell? Yes, Nell said. Red is my favorite. You never learn, Eric said.
There's the engine, said Eric. It's black. One tally for me. No fair, said Bridget. An engine's not a car. A red car went by. Whew. Then another one. Whew. Then another. Whew. Who do you think is going to win this round of tallying? Red, silver, or black? The next car was red too, and the next one. The train rattled past. Finally, the caboose went by. It was also red. There were hardly any black cars, said Eric. Or gray ones either, said Bridget. Let's see those tally sheets, said Mom. Let's see, it looks like Eric tallied one. Bridget tallied one, two, three, and Ness, or Nell, has five, three groups of five. So five, ten, fifteen. So who won this round? Nell won! Bridget handed the shamrock medal to Nell. Then she noticed a sign near the tracks. Hey, look at that. That's why Nell won. Travel the red line. So that must be the name of the train that they saw driving by. Hey, Nell, that's not fair, said Eric. Seems fair to me, said Nell. So from now on, I want you to call me Tally O'Malley. <laughs>